Greetings, good people. Welcome to Copper Q. So today we are going to be fixing a project gone wrong and make it still make it into art. Uh, I had this project that I've done um, before, which was um, dry clay. And I made this like little dish thing. I don't know if it can be a wall hanging, yeah. Or maybe just a faux bowl sitting with some dried something in it. I'm not absolutely sure. Um, but I took, of course, I took some, oh, it's dusty. Don't buy, don't worry about this, but it's dusty because I've been doing projects with it. Um, I couldn't bring myself to make it into a faux ceramic bowl. And I was like, oh, but I still can make something out of it. So what I did was, I use this, the base of it, from the bottom, and I just put the clay over it, the dry clay. And then we'll go over how I did the brushing and whatnot later. We'll do another one for those, but that's not what this video is about today. This video is about how I tried to do another one and it went wrong, okay? So out of that, these little chips emerged. And as you see up here, there somewhere on the, on the video, um, this is what it came out looking like, okay? It was crumbled into pieces because I forgot to put on the freaking uh, wax paper so that it, I can pull it off of the glass. And I was like, dang. So my son was over and he was like, mom, you know, stop getting so frustrated with it. He's such a calm spirit. Stop being so frustrated with it. You can still make it into like some chips of something and put it on. I was like, nah, nah. So shout out to Exo McKenna because I seen her actually cut out shapes to do a wall hanging. So she put them in the oven and baked them for a little while. I, just, I don't know how many pieces, but anyhow, um, so what I did was I took them out, sanded them down cause it was all, you know, chipped kind of gave them this, you know, smooth, uh, siding or smooth edges. And then I painted them with copper and like, uh, copper and the gold. Can you guys see this? Ooh, I need a manicure. Don't judge me. You see that? And what I'm going to do is we're going to create a wall hanging with it. What'd you guys think? I think that's going to be fly to death.
As I started to paint this one, it seemed a little flat to me. The gold wasn't as thick as the bronze. And I was like, oh, what, is, what should I do? Ah, hmm, hmm. I add some dimension with the bronze on the edges and um, not necessarily dry brush them. The brush was a tad bit wet, but just get into the creases in the, the corners of the piece and it made a difference. And then I, you know, I love dry brushing and, you know, adding just, just something to the edges. And I think it looks so much better this way. Don't you think? I think so. Yeah, so I decided to do them on all the pieces. I did end up adding more to the rest. So anytime I painted it gold, of course, I put the copper. I'm sorry, uh, the bronze. And when I put the bronze, I added a little gold. It didn't show up as much, but it did give it some some uh variation of color on the piece that pieces that were darker with the bronze oh so what do you guys think let me know in the comments look what i found in my stash of miscellaneous art projects i didn't know what i was going to do with this little clay ball but it was clay left over and i couldn't let it go to waste so we're going to paint this too and add it to the piece why not so let's see, this tree, I found it. It's a eucalyptus, a eucalyptus branch. And I found it on the side of the road and that's gonna be a whole nother project. But I'm gonna use one of these beautiful branches from this tree to use for the, um, the stem for the hanging, for the chimes or for the wall hanging. So let's see which one we wanna use. All right, so I got it off and I think the shape will be great. I'm just gonna um, take the leaves off of it and maybe use those for some type of art as well. Maybe put it on the other project that I had. Eucalyptus is so beautiful. Let me see. Ooh, it was a bee. They didn't want me smelling the plant. This is not your tree guy, it's over. All right. Ooh. I like the shape of this. Oh uh, yeah, that's nice. Even the color, look at the, the variation of the colors from where the bark was, but it blends so well on it. Let's see, let's get a better up close. That is so pretty, yeah? Okay guys, so I am, um, I got the branch and um, I'm sorry, I was drinking some yerba mate and the this still in my gum. Anyhow, so I am going to start. I'm not absolutely sure. So what do you guys think? So I have the branch here, right? And I love the variations of it, but I feel like it's like I'm sniffing it, huh? Um, I feel like it should have some accents of i want to keep it raw but i don't know you know what i mean i think i want to add a few accents like on the tips of the nubs that are here hmm. i'm not sure so we're gonna give it a try we're gonna probably test out the end of it right here and see what we get I'm looking a little oily huh hmm. Hmm. i don't know anyway let's get started peace Okay, now I'm not absolutely sure if I want to use the wire and hang it from the wire. Cause I don't think that it'll, it'll hang, Sage, come on. So 
we'll stick it in here and see sage. Maybe we can do like a wrap around like this, maybe, and then have it here and have it hanging, or I can still have it wrap around and then put the barlap barlap. I'm learning the, the proper pronunciation for that and then have it here. Yeah, that's an option. Or we can stick, that doesn't look like that's gonna fit, guys. So maybe I can stick that on through. Let's, let's give it a threading, a good threading. Some way, somehow, let's do it from the front. Put it in from the back side. I guess it's really no back or front. Now, we can also do this, but I'm not absolutely digging that from here. You know what I mean? From the stick. What do you guys think? So we have this option, and then this option. I'm kind of digging this. I don't know. Okay, how about I take a piece of the string and see if I like it colored or painted copper. Let's try that. So let's get that going right there. And I don't know how I feel about this, y'all. Mm. We might be rolling with this copper instead because if I do it this way, then I, it's just I don't know it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't feel right to me uh, I would rather have the mixed metal look of like the bronze and the gold and the copper all together with the branch rather than the the burlap and then it may have to be like a copper wall hanging I think that's what we're gonna go with I think that that's that's, that's how we're gonna roll Unless I get something a little thinner. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't know, guys. Look at my fingers. Uh, uh, let's rethink this. I may, I think I'm digging. I think I'm digging this. The painted burlap, burlap, burlap. This might be a, this might be what's up. I think this is how we're I think this is what we're gonna do. Like it looks more organic now that I've put it together. It's like a muddy rope. <laughs> a muddy rope that I found and I'm out and I'm and I'm in the wilderness and uh okay, forgive me. Okay, whatever. I'm in the moment. Again, Narnia. So what y'all think? Yeah, let's let's roll with this. Yeah, and we'll just do different sizes of it. And maybe I'll have just one hanging from the, okay, I'm reaching. I was gonna have one hanging from the copper. Like, let's see. Like one hanging from the copper. No? Nope, we're doing the rope. Rope! All right, so we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 pieces. Um, and what we're gonna do is we we have one down and 11 to go. So I, I'm i not sure how I'm gonna arrange them, but it's going to be, um, Sage, no one's coming for us. It's the male guy or lady. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to, yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. I can't wait. I can't wait to see this guys. I can't wait. Greetings, good people. So tonight we'll be, I'm in my office, so don't judge me. Um, that's what we'll be doing our art project. But tonight we'll be having a Bagel Pinot Noir 
from California. I still haven't been to this particular winery. Can you see my bonnet inside of the wine glass? Anyhow, um, it's one of the winners of the year for wine enthusiasts in 2019. And um, it's delicious. It's about $8.99 uh, Target, BevMo, uh, Trader Joe's, of course, etc., etc. There's, uh, you can grab it pretty much anywhere, but um, we're gonna pop this open and we're going to um, start on our wine and clay nights. Tonight I will be finishing the wall hanging or chimes that we were making, but just to add a little something for uh, for an evening nightcap. I usually don't open reds on in the evening if I'm not gonna finish it because I'm drinking alone. But uh, I would suggest not to do that, especially if you live somewhere warm, because it the warm wine, especially after it's been corked and if it's not laying on its side, then it can go bad. But anyhow, let's get into the video. Um, we're gonna pour this baby, pop this baby open, and keep it pushing. Peace. So after we've let it breathe, we've poured it and you see, it's a light red. It's not a really heavy red. Pinot Noir is a very um, lightweight red wine. So um, here's a cork topper. Now, if you don't have it at home, you can always just use the cork that it came in. No big deal. Moving on. All right, let's get into the art guys. So to the right, you guys see the piece of burlap and the branch that we started on four days ago. Now, I decided to paint it and I was like, nah, let's speed this up because the piece of burlap got, it was really stiff. So we're just going to dip it and go there. It's a little messy, but, um, you know, going back to childhood, a little finger paint won't hurt nobody. It's all good. I'm going to do that with both tops. That was easier instead of wasting some type of, you know, I could have put it in the, the palette, but whatever. Let's just get it done. Long time coming. I had to make sure that I had this ready for you guys today. So we're getting it. We're getting it finished up. So at first I was like, oh, I can just keep dipping them and then, oh. I can just use the access from my fingers and just put it on the string. Yeah. Why not? It was so pretty. Now I'm thinking about doing like a body painting, completely bronzed. Some photos of that. Sexy. With wine, of course. So we're going to just finish those out. It was 11 more strings and maybe touch up a few other things but almost done you guys get it let's start hanging this thing
Greetings, good people. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see you next Friday. Let me know what you think in the comments. Should this be chimes or should this be a wall hanging? And I know I didn't display it as chimes, but you can visualize it. You're smart. You're artistic. All right. See you guys next Friday. Just checking if there is a difference without the mic, because obviously this mic ain't working. The heck?